Marcos has secured an unassailable landslide victory in the presidential election. With more than 90% of the votes counted, he's won more than half of the votes. His main rival, the outgoing vice president, Lenny Rodrigo, called on Filipinos to respect the outcome. But the vote has been marred by reports of nearly 2,000 malfunctioning counting machines, leaving many people questioning the integrity of the vote, as Howard Johnson reports. Philippine history is turning on its head. People power has taken over his beloved... Once a disgraced family, ousted from the presidential palace in 1986 amidst charges of corruption and brutality, the Marcos family looks set to return with the people's backing. This was Bongbong Marcos earlier, casting his vote in his father, Ferdinand Marcos's hometown. He was joined by his son, Sandro. The 27-year-old is running for Congress. And this, a rare appearance of 92-year-old mother, Imelda. Once a byword for greed, because of her excessive collection of designer shoes, bankrolled by the taxpayer. The Marcoses now promise a return to a golden age of economic prosperity. But critics say they've used social media to whitewash the sins of their past. The only person standing in the way of a Marcos revival is Lenny Robredo, a human rights lawyer and economist, but she's well behind in the unofficial tally of results. This year's election has been marred by reports of vote buying, violent skirmishes and malfunctioning counting machines. You can see there are some tensions in this polling station. That's because people have been waiting for hours to feed the ballot papers into this machine here, which has been malfunctioning now for six hours. And people are being told here to leave their papers to be fed in later on. But because of the lack of trust, perhaps, people want to wait to see their paper go through so they can get an official receipt. It's dodgy. All I want is the truth. I almost collapsed earlier. The Philippine Election Commission say more than 1,800 machines malfunctioned, but the body failed to heed calls to extend polling hours. It's left many questioning the integrity of this election. <laughs> Supporters of the Marcos family say they deserve a second chance, but the results will shock the world. Crimes proven by court documents whistleblower accounts and independent media elect ferdinand marcos jr is headed for a historic landslide victory in the filipino presidential election on monday 36 years after his namesake father was ousted from the same position by an uprising to all who joined our fight for all your sacrifices and work and for the time skill and perseverance you gave to us any endeavor as large as this does not involve one person it involves very, very many people working in very, very many different ways. And to all of them, I thank you. Nicknamed Bong Bong, or BDM, the latest tally of around 70% of total votes showed his numbers over 23 million. More than double than that of his closest rival, Lenny Robredo. This is a huge feat for the political family. After his father's regime saw thousands of political opponents tortured, billions plundered, and the country put under martial law. 67 million people were called to the polls to replace the incumbent Rodrigo Duterte, whose government has been condemned for its brutal anti-drug crackdown. In a family twist, Duterte's daughter Sara ran along Marcos Jr. as his vice president. Despite the unofficial results, thousands gathered to celebrate in Manila with fireworks and celebrations in the streets. We believe that BBM is starkly different from his father. The Philippines election day was also tragically marked by the deaths of several people through polling station attacks. The election winner will take office.